The X-Men. Now, the X-Men has the most legendary cast of characters in comic book history. And we're dying to see their debut when they enter the MCU. It's been a long time coming and we are bound to see top quality, comic book accurate storytelling. But with all teams comes a great leader, and the leader of the X-Men is that of Cyclops. So this is my list for the top five actors I think could play Cyclops in the MCU. And without further ado, roll that intro. And hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nerd News. I'm your host Chris Chavis. This is a show created for nerds by a nerd. And it's been a while since I have posted. I have been away from uh, YouTube for a while, but I am back and I am excited for this one. So lately in the X-Men movies from Fox, we've seen Scott Summers, aka Cyclops, lead the team, kinda. I mean, he led the team, but not in the sense of you know, like a, a general would lead their army and, you know, just, he didn't really take the reins. He was very a loose kind of leader, almost like, you think we, sh you think we should attack from the right? We okay, let's attack from, no, from the left? All right, I, I think we should go from the left. He didn't really, you know, grab a hold of him and be like, no, oh, we gotta get the Sentinels now. And it's about time for this character to finally step out of the shadows and take hold of this amazing team. And that's why I think Marvel should really uh, push this character uh, a lot harder than the rest of the characters that we're going to see down the road from the X-Men because he's, he's a really good character. He just hasn't had a good chance to shine in front of our eyes. But before we get into today's casting episode, if this is your first time here, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you can be notified of all things as I create them. Ain't that right, guys? Yeah, the matriculating section. All right. Oh, God. Hit a frame. All right, guys, let's get started. So to start this list off, I wanted to go with an actor who's a little bit older because, you know, to have that leadership quality, you got to have experience. You got to know, you know, I've been there. I've done that. I know what to expect. Follow me. I'll lead you to victory kind of feel. So that's why we're starting this list off with Chris Pine. Now, Chris is a talented actor. I mean, we know his body of work very, very, very well. And yes, he, he is in the DC universe uh, as Steve Trevor in Wonder Woman, but you know, he can play anything. He's a great actor. A great example of this is his take of Captain Kirk. His arrogance and his fiery passion, you know, oftentimes leads him to cloud his judgment sometimes, but he always corrects the wrongs that he accidentally has made. And I think taking that quality, he has the, um, the, the, the leading man type look as well. He's a very handsome guy. He's a very good actor. Um, and I mean, he, he easily fits the role of Scott Summers because Scott Summers is kind of like um, the, the pretty boy. He's like Captain America. He's the all-American boy. He, you know, he's clean cut. He, uh, he, he lives by the rules. He abides by the rules. But sometimes things gets in the way and he has to do what he can to lead his team to, you know, figure out the situation that's going on at the time. And I think Chris Pine lends his voice perfectly to this role. I mean, his charisma alone could lend himself to any, any, any role in the MCU, but I think Scott Summers fits the bill perfectly. All right, next, let's move on to a little bit younger of an actor and that of Scott Eastwood. Now, obviously we know Scott is the son of the legendary actor, uh, Clint Eastwood. I mean, if you don't know who Clint Eastwood is, now, Scott has been in a lot of big blockbuster movies, uh, Pacific Rim, the sequel, uh, Suicide Squad, but, you know, he, he hasn't really found that role that has just catapulted his stardom. But ironically, uh, Scott Eastwood is on the shortlist for us fans to play Wolverine, which is very intriguing to me because I can see it, but I also can't. But he does fit the bill of Scott Summers. He has the all-American look. Um, he has, he can do that leader type quality. Um, I know he has a little bit more in him uh, when it comes to his performances. I haven't seen a, a performance of his that really, you know, push what he can do as an actor. And I think taking a character like this, obviously he's a mutant, CGI, you know, he doesn't really have the mm, beams from his eyes. That's just crazy. 
But this role could take Scott Eastwood. I keep saying Scott, because Scott Summer, Scott Eastwood. But I think this role would push him uh, for his performance a little bit more in depth. I mean, with a multi-picture deal, they have a longer time to figure out the character and kind of, you know, get in the meat and bones of something like this, which he's never done before. Um, but I think he would work. Next, we're going to move on to the solo actor, Alden Henrich. I butcher that probably, but go with me. Now Alden has, oh my god, now Alden, he has charisma for days. Um, a lot of people hated his take on Han Solo in you know, the Solo movie that came out a while ago, but I, I, I really enjoyed that movie. He definitely has a, the leading man feel to him, you know, he, uh, Yet again, his charisma is just so palpable on film. I mean, from Solo, he's just, he's charming, right? He's hes a thief. Um, he's serious at times. He falls in love. Like, he has all these tangibles that make for a perfect leading man, a perfect uh, Scott Summers. And, you know, he has done a lot of really good movies as well. He's more of an indie actor, but he's slowly starting to move up the ladder in the A-list big blockbuster movie, starting off with Solo. But I think he could take this character in and give him all these multiple layers that we need to see. We need to, to, to believe that he's a leader. We need to believe in his, you know, his push and pull feel with uh, Wolverine and, and Jean Grey. And we need to feel these things. We didn't really believe that when James Marsden did it in the originals. Not, it wasn't his fault, it was just bad writing, but still, we need to see that, and I think Alden Edrich can do that. Next, we're going to move on to an actor who also has been on Marvel's radar, and that of Taron Egerton. Fans also love the idea of Taron playing Cyclops, uh, but he also is on the shortlist as well to play Wolverine if they do a younger Wolverine, which also, that intrigues me. Now, the Kingsman has paved the way for Taron uh, as an action hero and as an actor. I mean, since then, he has done amazing things. Did you see Rocket Man? His performance was great. Taron is, uh, he is an action hero. He, is, he has charisma. He has the charm. Um, you know, and, and it's, he's yet to dive into a big multi-picture deal, massive movie like this. But I, I think to get his feet wet, I think being Scott Summers is perfect, a perfect choice for this young man. But it all depends on if Marvel decides to cast a younger actor or an older actor. Either way, Cyclops could work either or. And I think Taron Egerton actually was on their shortlist to play Cyclops in uh, X-Men Apocalypse, um, which would have been great, but not for that movie, because that movie was poo-poo. And But Taron, I think you have uh, shown the world that you can do these type of movies, and it's about time that you have been given a chance. All right, guys, last on this list is an actor that is a little lesser known than everyone else on this list. It's Henry Golding. Now, Henry's career is growing. It's on the rise. I mean, one of the most notable roles that he was in was Crazy Rich Asians, as well as the thriller uh, film A Simple Favor. But he hasn't really reached that A-list uh, status yet. But he definitely has a leading man chops for this role. He's a fantastic actor, his dramatic chops are great, and his comedy is perfect. His great timing. And he has that hot shot type attitude to him in some of the roles that he plays. Like he has this chip in his shoulder and he knows that he's, you know, you know who I am? I'm Cyclops. <laughs> that was really stupid, I'm sorry. But we need that hot shot. Uh, you know, maverick type feel to this character, because yet again, he is the leader, but he has to, he has to have that chip in his shoulder, you know? It has to be those classic things where it's, I'm arrogant, you know, I can take on the world, oh, something knocks me down, I'm low, what did I do? Oh, self-discovery. And then he's back up at the top again, the leader of the X-Men. And Henry would make a great choice, and I think with his young career just starting off, diving into a Marvel franchise is a perfect step for him, and will show the world the talent that this man has. Well, my friends, that is it. Did you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you guys enjoy these X-Men fan casting episodes, let me also know, and we'll continue doing more of these. We'll do Storm, we'll do uh, Colossus, Nightcrawler, we'll keep going off the, the list of every X-Men that's ever existed. My gosh, that would be a very long series. But we can't wait to see what Marvel does with this amazing team. It's only a matter of time before something uh, is released. 
And until next time, guys, remember, uh, seeing this team in the bright yellow spandex would be a good thing. <sighs> do you remember what Fox... Do you remember what Fox did? What, what is that? What, what, what are they, ninjas? <laughs>